I'm Eric from Real Friends, and you're watching The Sound of War. Best way to describe my personal style and tone would be like a mix of metalcore and like indie music. Growing up, I listened to predominantly like heavier music, and it wasn't until later on that I would be introduced to like bands like Taking Back Sunday, Jimmy World, and like Death Cat for Cuties. Signal path for Warp Tour, I use Ernie Ball Beefy Slinkies in this uh, 1990 Gibson Les Paul Custom. Actually, I actually have uh, Gibson ES-139 and SG as well. And then we're running through Kempers, which have the integrated pedal board for all of our tones and effects all in one place. I use uh, a Bad Cat and Vox AC-130 profile predominantly. So a lot of our tone is just varying degrees of overdrive, and then the Vox provides a great clean tone. And then we're running it into uh, Janus 412. They make great cabs, very easy to transport and load. And then we have uh, Sennheiser wireless packs as well. We approach our live sound much differently now than in the studio. In the studio, we had the luxury of having like a lot of different amp options. Every amp ever you can put into the Kemper, so we have that at our fingertips at a moment's notice. Since we actually tech for ourselves and load all the gear, having all of our heads in one convenient rack space, it saves a lot of time. Downsizing into that has just made life a whole lot easier. Surviving Warp Tour, just stock up on multiples of everything. That way, if anything breaks or runs out, you instantly have the next. Actually, just heard a great phrase one is done and two is one. And we've carried that phrase right into Warp Tour with us. This is Chad from the band Newfound Glory, and you're watching Ernie Ball, The Sound of Warped.